Right now, friends and family of a Judge Memorial High School student are mourning the loss of a 17-year-old after he was shot and killed this weekend. School officials say Nuar Deng was going to be a senior and lit up the halls with his smile. New specialist Debbie Worthen joins us live tonight from Judge. Debbie, what did you find out about the victim tonight? Well, what we found out is that Newar Dang and his family are deeply loved by the community here. Judge set up a prayer service today. They say they expected about 50 people to show up. Over 600 people showed up for that prayer service. They say while police investigate exactly what happened, their focus is on this 17-year-old who made everyone around him smile. In fact, pictures provided by the school tonight show Newar Dang with what they called that megawatt smile. He was on the basketball team, and they say he was a great great student, a good kid, and a friend to all. They say Dang's family has a long history with Judge Memorial, and Newer had been a student at Our Lady of Lords Elementary before he came to Judge. They say a smile lit up the halls, and he made everyone's day better with his kindness. A remarkable young man. I mean, he's, he's just this vibrant spirit, you know. Uh, he would light up a room uh, with his smile. On X today, judge basketball coach Sajin Kolvarat said, our judge basketball family is saddened to share the news that one of our amazing young men, Nuar Dang, passed away earlier this morning. As his coach, I saw the values that made him a good basketball player and an even better man. Always smiling, always willing to make and take jokes. I will miss you, Nuar, and I love you forever. Now, the family has set up a GoFundMe account if you would like to help them with funeral services. That link is at ksltv.com. Now, West Valley City Police are investigating the death of a 17-year-old involved in a shooting over the weekend. They say that 17-year-old was sitting in the back seat of a car at the Winco parking lot when a car approached them and fired those shots. We don't know, we cannot confirm for sure if these two are connected, but they, they do say that that teenager later died. I'll send it back to you. It's just a heartbreaking case. Debbie, thank you.